The thing to try when all else fails is again. The person who really wants to do something finds a way. The person who does not finds an excuse. The person who prevails is the person who refuses to give up. The person with the mental toughness is the person who will triumph. The testing of your faith produces perseverance. The man who can get up one more time than the time he's knocked down is going to be the winner. Being knocked down is not a problem. But staying down is a problem. Get up because success begins by getting up one more time than you've been knocked down. The Bible declares in Proverbs 24, 16, listen to this. For though a righteous man falls seven times, he rises again. For though a righteous man falls seven times, he rises again, again. You're not a failure for falling down. You're a failure for staying down. You know, it's amazing how many people in the world have done phenomenal things after having failed numerous times in their life. And so failure doesn't have to be the end. Making mistakes doesn't have to be the end. I think most people, if they're going to be successful, they have to press through some things. And uh, one of the things that we tend to do, or that one of the lies that the enemy tells us is, well, there's just no way. There's just, there's no way. There's no way out. But we have to remember that there's always a way out. And those of us who are believers in Jesus Christ know that he said in John 14, 6, I am the way. We may not know the way, and he may not be telling us the way, but he wants us to believe that he is the way maker. God will make a way for you, but he does require you to never give up. You may be tired today. You've been dealing with a challenge in your health, a relationship, in your finances for years. You used to believe that you would overcome, but now you're worn down. You don't think it's ever going to happen. Let me encourage you. What God promised, He's still going to bring to pass. You may have given up, but God has not given up. He has your healing, your breakthrough, your promotion, the right people. Now do your part. Get your passion back. Start taking hold of His strength. Don't allow that weariness in. The enemy wouldn't be fighting you so hard unless he knew you were close to your victory. He couldn't take you out, so he's trying to wear you out. Get you weary, discouraged, don't fall into that trap all through the day. Lord, thank you that you're renewing my strength. Thank you that I will soar like the eagles. Thank you that I am strong in the Lord. That battle may be taking a long time, but I believe right now, strength is coming into you. Hope is coming into you. God is filling you with fresh courage, determination, vision. You will run and not be weary. You will walk and not faint. Don't give up on yourself because if you do, then what you're saying is God's not big enough to change me. There's nobody that is beyond change. God can change every single one of us. I don't want you to give up. I don't want you just to throw in the towel and quit. If all you can do right now is just get out of that bed and walk across the room, do something. And if you'll do what you can do, God will do what you cannot do. The difference between possibility and the impossible lies in your own personal persistence. Persistence is the path to victory for every champion. Run to win. Be a champion for Jesus Christ. Fight the good fight. Endure hardness as a soldier of Jesus Christ. Press on in the heat of spiritual warfare. Press on in the darkest night of your sorrow. When you've lost the dearest on earth. Press on when all seems lost and hopeless. Press on when your dreams have been shattered and seem hopelessly outdated. Press on when your friends forsake you. 
When your best friend walks out, Jesus Christ, your best friend walks in. Press on because the God of heaven will never leave you nor forsake you even to the ends of the earth. Press on, press on, press on, press on, press on, press on. The victory is yours if you will not quit.